Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. In this video, we are going to see about how to implement our local and the session storage in Flutterweb. So without any delay, let's get started. When it comes to the uh, web development, we have uh, two major ways to store the data uh, inside our website. The one is uh, session storage and another one is a local storage. Uh, the first thing, uh, the local storage is uh, used to store the uh, any type of values that you want to store it within your website to across the all sessions so it will be act like that so whereas the session storage will be used to store the store the values on a particular session so it won't be uh, having the stored values on the another session if uh, for example if you have stored uh, some token or uh, logged in values inside your particular session of the website if you open on the new tab you won't get it so that's the difference between those things so now we'll see now we'll dive into the code so here i'm gonna use the universal html package to uh, utilize the package of the html package so we have to use this universal html so that the platform conflicts will be avoided so i'm gonna have a separate class called local storage dot dot so inside this i'm gonna create a class called uh, local storage helper yes so now i'm gonna have a function called so yeah first initially uh, i'm gonna input the universal html package on top of the file it will be html dot dot yeah so okay so now i'm gonna have the instance instance of the local storage which is inside the HTML package it will be a window dot local storage yep we have created the instance of the storage object and after that I'm gonna create a class not a class it's a function static function to save data local storage so it will be a white function save value so for that you will be having since we will be showing the will be saving all those data in a map of string dynamic so we need definitely we need a key for it so I'm gonna take as a parameter one is key and another one as a value. So inside this, I'm gonna store with the key which we want and uh, we'll be assigning the value here. So yeah, that's it. The value will be stored in the particular key. So and we'll make a function to get the value from the same key. I'm gonna make another function here so it will be returning the string since I'm, we are gonna get the value so here we are gonna have uh, only one parameter we'll be passing the key we'll be returning it key yeah that's it and uh, we are gonna create a method for remove to remove data it will be a void function so it will be remove value I'm gonna name it as so we have to pass the key which you want to delete so here we are gonna remove it using the instant of the local variable remove we passing the key yeah that's it the key will be removed from our uh, local storage and uh, if you want to remove all the local values which is inside our website you can also have the method called clear all I'm gonna make it as a static so clear all 
So inside this, we can just call local storage dot clear. So that's it. So all the local storage value will be vanished within a second. And this is how we are gonna make a local storage helper class. Now uh, we are gonna create a same class for uh, our session storage helper. Now we'll see how to do that. So here I have created a separate file called session storage dot dot for uh, storing the session storage helper. So we'll, we'll, there is only one tiny difference between those helpers. So I'm, I'm gonna just copy this whole class and I'm gonna paste this inside our session storage. So just replace the name of the class session storage helper and you can just change the window dot will be having a session store yeah that's it and we'll just create a replace the local variable here session storage oops it taking time I'll try it again. Yeah, that's it. Changed every, every place. Yeah. So that's it. Uh, so we have done our session story helper too here. Now we'll just run this code inside our main. I am having the own elevator button here. So on this on pressed, I'm gonna call the first. We'll see the local storage helper method. We'll call that save value i'm gonna give a key as is underscore logged in and value as true okay i will we'll run this This connecting, I guess. Yeah, we got that. So I'll just open the inspect element here. So and the, under the application tab, we'll be having the local storage here and go to our local host here. So right now there is no key and value here inside this. If you refresh this, it will got refreshed here. So right now we don't have any values here. So as soon as I click the click here button. You can see the is logged in keys comes here and the value of the is logged in is true that we have defined here. So and if you want to uh, like uh, store another thing called token key or uh, value, I'll just restart this. Uh, it's restarting I guess yeah we started so again go to the application tab oops what is not open yeah it is opened so uh, as of now you can see only the is logged in and two keys there now I Again, I click on the click here button. As you can see, the token is created here. Token and the value will be here. So you can also get the uh, value in, inside our console too. So I will just remove this. Uh, no, just call the get value method, and we are gonna just pass us the key alone, not the value. So inside the print, I'm gonna call this. So now we'll be able to 
get the token inside our uh, console. Yeah, dot open. Yeah, inside the thing. So as you can see, the token is there. Some some value. So right now we are gonna print the value inside our console. Just hit the hand click here button. You can see the token is printed here. So this is how the local store helper is works in our Flutter web. You can also copy the link and paste it. The other tab you open it you open the inspect element on the this window this tab window and you can go to the application you can still see the storage that we ask in the, our local storage so we will be getting the values in a different section like uh, it will be persist across the session so you can still able to get those values uh, in uh, whichever the tab that you are in so now now we'll see the output of our uh, session storage helper so yeah now we'll call the session storage helper method here storage helper dot a value i'm gonna give a key as we'll use the same key that we have used before logged in so the value will be uh, false okay let's restart the application yeah it just restarted now just open the inspect element go to the application tab so this time so inside the session storage menu click on the uh, localhost ip so now you can see there is no key key of data here so now we'll hit the click here button as you can see the is login method is comes here so as i as i told before like uh, if you just copy the localhost ip and paste it in new tab and here just open the application tab now see uh, inside the session so we don't have any keys and values here whereas we have key here in this tab so as i told the session storage will will be uh, like uh, executing like it will be only for one tab at a time so we can't access it on another sessions so it will be enabled for only one sessions so other thing remove and clear all uh, all the those methods will be uh, like uh, working as we have did for a local storage method so that's the difference between the local and the session storage so you can use according to your usage and uh, that's all for the today's video guys we'll see you in next video stay tuned bye